This video is brought to you by Upper Park Disc Golf. Go to upperparkdiscgolf.com to see their full lineup of 2021 disc golf bags, including the newly redesigned Rebel, Shift, and more. My people, hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my review of the Upper Park Shift. This is a backpack style bag from Upper Park Disc Golf. They sent me this bag along with the Rebel and I've used them both quite a bit. The Rebel review will be coming relatively soon as well, um, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in that particular bag. I do have another video showing off both of the bags, all of the features and kind of roughly how much plastic they hold and you know where all the pockets are and the storage and all that kind of stuff and my initial impressions. That video will be at the end screen of this video if you want to check that out or just search Disc Golf Nerd Upper Park and you'll probably find it pretty easy. If you want an overview of this bag and the features of it um, as it comes out of the box and also a closer look at the Rebel, lots of information in that video. This video is going to be more uh, me kind of just talking about my experience with this bag, how I've been setting it up, how I'm using it, and how I've been liking it. Um, just to kind of jump ahead and kind of spoil the video, uh, I love the bag. It's really, really excellent. I absolutely love both of the bags. They've been working great. I've been quite infatuated with them, to be honest. Like, I, I really, really like these bags. Something about the design of them and the comfort out there on the course, all the different capabilities that the bags have, the, the weight of them. There's just a lot of different things that I really enjoy about these bags. Definitely been other great bags that I've used over the years, and... All in all, I don't feel like I'm terribly picky about my my golf bag. You know, I uh, in, in fact some of my favorite bags are uh, quite inexpensive that I've used over the years. So these bags get a little bit more on the spendy side than uh, some of the other bags that I've used. But I do feel like you are for sure seeing that jump in quality and kind of overall design and function of the bag. I really do feel like these are, are a solid bag for what you'll pay for them. And uh, I really, really like uh, most of the aspects of these bags. Very few kind of negative things we're gonna talk about in this particular video. So that's just to jump ahead. We got lots of ground to cover. I'm gonna show you various aspects of this bag. I'm going to dump all the plastic out of it as well to show you exactly what I carried on my round with it today. And we're gonna talk about some pros and cons of the various features and the way it's set up. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, let's get into it. We got lots to talk about. Thank you very much to Upper Park for sending me these bags to test and review. Full disclosure, they did just send them along to me to check them out, I did not buy these bags. But I did not, of course, promise them any type of favoritism in the review. It's 100%, uh, this is based on my legitimate experience with this bag, as I'm hopeful you guys have come to expect here on the Disc Golf Nerd channel. I try to be as honest with you guys about everything as I can. Let's get into it. Upper Park Shift. So, this one is definitely smaller than the Rebel. It is lighter, and this one definitely doesn't have as much storage, but it does still hold a deceiving amount of gear and plastic, especially for its size. I've found that I can put pretty much a full loadout in this thing and play most of the courses that I play without any issue just be using the storage that's available on this little bag. Um, it is very light. I will weigh it after I film all this and I'll put that information on the screen here so you can see exactly what it weighs uh, empty with everything taken out of it. I didn't want to do all that and then have to put it all back in to show you how I load it up. So I'll put that information on the screen for you guys to just uh, reference real quick. But it just feels really nice on the, ba on the back. It's extremely comfortable and uh, super light and easy to carry but you'll see it still holds quite a bit of gear. So let's get a little closer. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to keep the whole bag in frame. I'm always kind of wrangling uh, wrangling it with this kind of setup, but we're gonna get a little bit closer so I can uh, give you more details about this. Okay, first of all, let's talk about how much plastic is in this thing and I'll just show you exactly what I carried out there on the course this morning. I have four putters up top here. Just uh, A3 up there as well as my Two putting putters and then I have my caltrop up here then I have mid ranges right here I could definitely put in another mid range here I just had ended up with it down here here let's stuff it in there there that's fine so four mid ranges four putters 
You can stuff another few discs down here. So I have a compass, I have my Mononoke uh, Pioneer, and I also have an Evader that I'm kind of playing around with. You also see I have one of these rubber stretch bands stuffed down in there. You can put a, a good amount of plastic down in this compartment and the way it works it actually angles because of all of this it angles in so it actually fits in there quite nice um, you can put a good few discs down on the bottom there for extra extra storage if you want to I also have towels and extra socks stuffed underneath there that I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to show you but they're underneath all of this stuff as it kind of tucks into the back of the bag so it's uh, it's quite nice and the, all the storage kind of tucks underneath in nice places where it's not really getting uh, interacted with very much some bags like have a a good storage and then by the time you put discs and other things in there the, the pockets are kind of interacting with one another and you're feeling a lot of that stuff this bag doesn't seem to have uh, those issues water bottle holder just real quick I think is just about perfect it is like perfect size and the kind of tension on the bottle is just ideal like as you can see it takes no effort to put the bottle in and out but it doesn't just fall in there if it, if it was full it would probably just slow slide right into place it fits a standard nalgene absolutely flawlessly and it also holds a nice insulated like 40 ounce bottle perfectly which is what i carried today so you could potentially figure out other ways to, you know, you could put a, like a, a small water bottle under here probably, but for the most part, you pretty much have to make it work with one water bottle for this bag. But since it's such a small kind of compact, lightweight bag, um, you know, I, I wouldn't really expect it to have two full water bottles on it and carry it very well. So I like that that's centralized in line with the weight of this stuff. And then you have the two side pockets here. So along with those plastic, uh, plastic down the middle, we got four drivers on either side, right? So you'll see there, as I pull those out, this will kind of lean forward a little bit because part of the structure of the bag is actually using these side pockets. Right, so once those go in and I'm loading this bag, I usually do four drivers on either side and then I put my plastic in the middle. It's just a little bit easier to do that way because these kind of hold the bag into shape, right? So if I pull those out, you can see how it kind of dips forward. But the tension on these is just about perfect. It's already loosened up a little bit and I really actually quite like this system. Sometimes I like to pull that out of there and just kind of make sure it's all sitting the way I want it to. But I really kind of like the fact that it's all visible and at a glance, I know I have my two Furies right here. I've got an Escape and a Culverin. And then I've got four Havocs on this side for like all my distance shots, right? And then all my putters and mids down the middle and then I can throw extra drivers in the bottom as needed. Now during the rounds, I may end up with, you know, this disc might just end up like stuff like this on the way to the next tee or whatever, and that's fine. But I do like that I can kind of keep my bag organized during my rounds based on this kind of four aside system. You could definitely stuff five in these side pockets, but I don't, I don't like doing any more than I'm showing you here. I think four is just about perfect for either side. Nice and even, and that's it. Once they all get in there, it's real easy to take one out and pop it back in, and uh, I dig it quite a bit. Compared to the Rebel, though, however, I will say it's much more of an effort to get the plastic in and out of this bag, as you can see. You know, to take these out of here, you kind of kind of put them in where they go and tuck them into the pockets. It doesn't really matter if you separate them. You can put all four in one of these slots and it makes no real difference. But compared to the Rebel, that is just a wide open main compartment all the way. It's that is definitely one of the main differences is that this you have to kind of know where your discs go and put them back where they're supposed to go. The Rebel, you can just stuff a disc anywhere. There's, there's so much room on that thing with the whole kind of vertical section and then the huge main compartment on the bottom and the side pockets can also hold plastic. So that's that's definitely a, a big difference in the way these bags carry and function out there on the course. All right, moving it around here, trashing my filming base here. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, real quick. I like to keep my towel tucked in this little corner right here. It sits nice out of the way. And then during my round, I can pull it out of there. I can, you can put like a quick sticker or a stick retriever right in here pretty well as well. And that works out totally fine. Here on the top of the bag, you can see 
the grab handle here has a little bit of like squishy foam in there and it's totally fine i love having a dedicated grab handle on this bag you can also see it has a hanging loop here which i find very helpful i can hang it off of my shelf unit back here um and yeah i, I really like that feature as well for storing the bag then this pocket right here is a mini pocket it has a little slot where you can put like a pencil in there too but i think it's absolutely perfect for a handkerchief that i use quite a bit on the course to like wipe sweat or clear my nose or anything like that and so i always have one rocking in this bag and the rebel and i've used that so much like i use that every round i use this handkerchief and uh pretty much end up washing it and swapping in a fresh one after every round i will show you also while we're on the front here this front flap does fully close and you have the full upper park logo on here and this storage pocket here let's uh, bring it in a little closer this storage pocket here has dual zippers right so when the bag is closed and zip closed like that you can use it straight down put whatever in here just make sure that this is also zipped um, but then when I have it set up like this and I tuck the flap now this becomes the top of the pocket which is just such a slick, elegant little design feature. Like that is the kind of stuff that I love. That's the kind of stuff that turns me on about gear and just life in general is when people come up with like little subtle things like that, that just makes so much sense. <laughs> it's just great. I love that. That's one of the things that really pleased me about this bag. Cause now I put my wallet in here and I tuck it down out of the way of the plastic. And kind of like we talked about earlier, there's this angle here with the way these discs go into the bottom, it doesn't really interact with it much at all. So really nice little feature there. I think that's slick. Um, you also have like a little slide pocket right here. Um, you could probably tuck a mini or something in there, but I don't do anything with that because I want to have these to be nice and loose for my drivers. Okay, let's uh, try to swing this thing around a little bit. On the back of the bag now, you can see that the straps are very nice, very nice and wide for the size of bag, I would say. Another nice little touch there with the symbol logo to uh, get sternum straps on this bag when they show up but I took them off almost immediately after filming that uh, overview video that I told you guys about because I, I'm not going to use those ever so you can take them off with no damage to the straps or anything they just kind of um, slide off and I have those put aside if I ever sell the bag or I decide I want them I can put them back on same with these down here these are the um, side side panels here the strap attaches to these right so when you lift the bag up that kind of goes up and around and cradles around your waist and even for me i'm you guys know i'm a big dude i'm fat i'm very wide in general even if i wasn't uh fat i just have broad shoulders and wide hips and uh it wraps around me no problem i like the way these feel quite a bit maybe if you were thinner it might wrap too far around you maybe that's Maybe it's better for, for wider people like me. I'm not really sure, but it really doesn't bother me at all having these side flaps and they have included storage in these. So, whoa, timber storage here. Lots of uh, room in here for you could definitely put a wallet or keys or whatever in there. Great spot for like hand sanitizer, you know, lighter or whatever kind of basic small things you want to have in your golf bag. So these like i said attach down to those kind of wrap around your back when you get it on you can kind of see there the way they kind of pull just naturally with that weight pulling upwards and you can also see that on here it came with clippable waist straps too so if you were going to like really do like a serious kind of hike type course you know like a mountain course in colorado or something like that and you want to be able to really load that that weight up properly with the sternum strap and with the waist strap you can do that but again i uh, i took those off immediately and i love having that ability to get rid of them since i don't want them uh and then you can obviously just rock them if you do it's great almost perfect level of padding for the straps i would say doesn't need to be more than this they're plenty wide relatively soft all good there and now getting on to the full back panel here you can see it's got this nice kind of air channel here which does help for sure you can see the nice strong connection here and this hang loop is tied right into that so it's real sturdy again really nice if you want to like hang it on like a disc rack or a 
metro shelf or something that you have in your house it, it's great for that coat rack kind of deal and then you have nice padding down the bottom here and the way the whole thing sits on your back these kind of wrap the, sh the straps are really nice and the whole deal is just excellent it's just such a comfortable carryable bag even as loaded down here with all this stuff in it and a 40 ounce water bottle and all the plastic all that stuff it's still just a really easy to pick it up and throw it on your back golf bag i just really dig it so yeah let's do a total count real quick while we're still sitting here i had what one two three four five six seven ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so nineteen twenty discs in this thing easy so really really uses the space efficiently that i like a lot on this bag the fabric is is quite light as well which i think kind of lends itself to the comfort and the easy carry of this bag this stuff has nice mesh on the side here again it's already kind of loosened up where those discs pop in and out just perfect um the only thing i'll say about this bag is that it's not super structured and it feels like a lot as we said earlier of the structure comes from this bag via the discs being in it on these side pockets here so that's one thing but i do think that's part of why it's so comfortable and it just works so well is that there's not like frames in here that are causing any issues except for on the back hopefully from this angle you can see kind of the way it kind of curves a little bit to meet your back and there is some structure in there somewhere i think there's like a metal a metal bar that runs down the middle to kind of keep that the back in shape you can feel it right here there's like a flat metal bar in there and I'm fairly certain as well that um, the folks at Upper Park had told me that if you kind of want to vary that angle a little bit, you can kind of do that. You can kind of get in there and subtly bend those very, you know, carefully, of course, and kind of change the angle because my Rebel, the angle is kind of out a little bit. And then my buddy has a Rebel from a few years ago, and it really has a very noticeable scoop to the back. And that's kind of part of the deal. You can kind of uh, adjust that a little bit. So for lack of a real word, I'll use a made up one. The bag's a little bit like flobbly. <laughs> It'll kind of flobble around as you can see, like it's it's got some give to it and it might just kind of like sit a little wonky now and again or whatever. You might have to like kind of pull these to like get it to stand upright because of the way it's all stuffed in there at some, t at some point in the middle of the, of the round, but it's really not that big of a deal. And again, the fact that I can organize everything so efficiently with this bag, I actually quite like the system because I can really know where my plastic is supposed to go and then as I get to the next tee I can kind of readjust put everybody back where they're supposed to be and know quickly and at a glance that I'm not losing any plastic or forgetting any plastic on the fairway and with other bags where you know all your discs are just kind of stuffed in there or just dropped in there wherever they fit of course you can organize every bag in some way if you if you really pay attention but the way this works with two 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 all the mid ranges and putters uh, down the middle I love it. It just it's a really elegant system for me and I, I really dig it. You have a couple of uh, little nylon D-rings up here that I neglected to mention but y'all so y'all saw clearly earlier on. And uh, you'll also see, I guess I'll show you. People seem to take offense every time I don't show the bottom of bags in the past. So there's the bottom of this one. Have little nylon feet on here also on here i could actually take these or leave them that's probably one of the few things about the bag that i actually don't necessarily like is having these plastic feet now a lot of guys i'm sure disagree because the bag sits great like once you drop it on the ground it's fine and i put it up on my folding stool and that works out totally fine as well but uh i do probably prefer that the bag was just flush across the bottom flat without those uh, plastic feet on there or the rebel has slightly different uh, bottom and everything but we'll get into all that stuff with the rebel once I uh, finally get a chance to drag that back here and uh, ramble to you guys about it for 20 minutes of your life that you're never gonna get back but you know what we geeked out on some disc golf gear I hopefully answered your questions about this bag and whether or not it might be a bag that you want to look into once again check out at the end screen here the video that will give you more information uh, about the bag as it comes straight from the box and also an overview of the Rebel if you're interested in that bag because I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to get the full review done on that one. It might be a little while. So we'll put it on the end screen for you guys to check out. Maybe I'll give you a disc review or something else fun to look at. 
when you get there. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everyone for their continued support. Huge shout out to the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Check me out on Patreon. Consider uh, joining. It starts at two bucks a month. You'll have your name listed in all the credits of the video and you'll basically be like a financial contributor, producer of the show here. I appreciate that very much. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Thanks to everybody who supports the channel just with your views and your comments and the likes. Everything means a lot to me for sure. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And Big, big thank you once again to Upper Park. They have been absolutely awesome to work with, like no doubt about it. All the correspondence, all the all the communication has been fantastic, and uh, I've really been enjoying working with them and checking out this gear. I also have a video coming soon on the trainer bag from Upper Park. Really nice, like practice bag that you can carry a ton of plastic in, like a duffel style bag. That thing's rad too. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for all the support. I love you all. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers.